This video is part of an ongoing series of videos focused on helping you set up your control process devices. This video will show you how to set up the relay outputs on the Siemens Hydrangea 200 HMI version. Navigate to the ULC set points table located on your control panel electrical drawings. Under the factory settings column, you'll find the parameters set by the Elemec factory technician. Level source assigns each relay to the specific level type needed. Transducer 1 assigns the relay to upstream level. Transducer 2 assigns the relay to downstream level. Differential and average assigns the relay to differential level. Level source should already be set up by your LMEC technician. Relay function assigns the application that will control your relay. Level will be used for setting on off level settings of the relays. Relay function should already be set up by your LMEC technician. The relay on off parameters marked with an asterisk will need to be set up by the startup technician. The right arrow will bring up the menu screen. The right arrow will also function as the enter key. The number in the upper right corner is the parameter number that will change as you navigate the menu. This parameter number can be matched up to the parameter numbers outlined in the control drawings. Scroll down to setup and press enter. Scroll down to relays and press enter. Press enter when the cursor is over basic setup. Use the relay selector to select which relays on off set points you will be modifying. Keep relay one selected for now. Navigate down to on set point and press enter. Enter the value required for your relay on set point. Press enter when done. Navigate down to offset point and press enter. Enter the value required for your relay offset point. Press enter when done. If more relays are required to be set up, navigate back to relay selector and select which relay you need to modify. Once the correct relay is selected, navigate back to the on and off set points and modify as required. Repeat this for as many relays as required. We hope you have found this video helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with any future content. For other technical videos, visit our YouTube channel.